Good day, everyone. Today, we're going to be taking a short look at Casey Kane's NASCAR career. Let's start with a bit of an overview. In the truck series, he has six races with five wins, six top fives, one pole, and an average finish of 1.2, which are incredible stats. In the Xfinity series, 215 races, eight wins, 46 top fives, 87 top tens, nine pole positions, and an average finish of 15.8. In the Cup Series, 529 races, 18 wins, 93 top fives, 176 top tens, 27 pole positions, and an average finish of 17.7. Casey Kane's NASCAR debut came in what is now the Xfinity Series in 2002, driving the number 98 Yates Racing Ford. He would run 20 races that season with zero wins. Casey Kane's first NASCAR win came in the Xfinity Series in 2003, driving the Brad Atkins number 38 4. 2003 would also be his last full time Xfinity Series season. His Cup Series debut was in 2004, driving the number 9 Dodge. He had no wins that season but 13 top fives. His first Cup Series win came in 2005 at Richmond. 2006, which many would consider his best season, 6 wins, 12 top 5s, and 19 top 10s. 2007, a bit of a down year, 0 wins, 1 top 5, and 8 top 10s. 2008, number 9 Budweiser car, 2 wins, 4 top 5s, 14 top 10s. 2009, 2 wins, 7 top 5s, 14 top 10s and 2009 would also be his last win driving the number 9 car. 2010, 0 wins, 7 top 5s, 10 top 10s, which would be his last season in the number 9 car. 2011 brought Red Bull Racing, which they had 1 win, 8 top 5s, and 15 top 10s. 2012, he was now with Hendrick Motorsports, which many people thought would bring him a championship. In 2012, 2 wins, 12 top 5s, and 19 top 10s. 2013, 2 wins, 11 top 5s, and 14 top 10s. 2014, 1 win, 3 top 5s, and 11 top 10s. In 2015 and 2016, Casey went winless. In 2017, his last career win came at Indianapolis. He had 3 top 5s and six top tens in 2017, which would be his last year with Hendrick Motorsports. 2018, which ended up being Casey's last season in NASCAR, he drove the number 95 the Levine family race in Chevrolet. He ran 25 races that season with one top five. His last race came at Darlington, and then he retired early due to health concerns. So there's a quick look at Casey Kane's NASCAR stats slash career. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you have a driver suggestion I should do next, let me know. Thanks.